Right. What happens when you turn on the computer? What happens when you turn on the computer? That is what you call the booting, right? So when you turn on the computer, uh, if you notice the computer closely, so as you said, most of you have computers except uh, three or four students. So if you if you notice very closely, right, you can see before Windows Windows starts. If you notice closely, you can observe some you know black in the black background some process happening. Okay, so in this side, this is your hard drives like CPU is here. So RAM, you know what is RAM? Random access memory. Then you have ROM. This is ROM, read only memory. So this is ROM. So these all are hardware. Is that clear? Right. Now, inside ROM, you have a software call inside the ROM you have a software called BIOS. BIOS. So BIOS stands for what? BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. Right? Okay, when you switch on the computer, what will happen is CPU, the CPU, First, CPU starts and it is instruct the buyers. CPU instruct the buyers. Okay, before that, as I said, this is a hardware. ROM is a hardware. This is BIOS. It's a software, right? BIOS is a software. But BIOS resides inside the ROM. So that's we call a firmware. So what is a firmware now? What is a firmware? BIOS. Can I know your name, please? Because I can't see the names. Uh, BIOS is one example for firmware. We learned that last week also. I'm insisting that. Uh, so what is what is a firmware? What is a firmware? A software inside the hardware. Excellent. A software inside the hardware right it's inbuilt embedded into an hardware we call that embedded i can't write it here so a software embedded into hardware one example is bias is that clear bias is embedded into rom so it resides it resides inside the rom so we call that as firmware right now it's clear right this is only one example there are other firmwares like a bootstrap loader, it's a firmware, right? Uh, there is another TQM model that is a firmware. There are there are firmwares inside the computer. Okay, when you start the CPU, when you start the computer, the CPU, right? It's instruct or it's it's like it's a uh, uh, invoke the BIOS first step. Then BIOS will know what BIOS will do. You can see the hardware here. Can you all read this? What is this? What is this? In here? Keyboard. Keyboard. Monitor. Hard hard disk. Hard disk. Okay, these are hardware, right? So initially, first step, this buyers will send a message to this pupil and okay, check whether they are connected. So it will send a message to the keyboard. Okay, Mr. Keyboard, are you ready or are you connected? So it will send a message to the monitor, the hard disk, and the RAM, and the VGA. Like, like you know, mouse also you can include here. So initially, the buyers will send messages to these components, right? Which connected to the computer. Right, which connected to the computer. So BIOS will send messages and this keyboard, if it is connected properly, that will in return send a message. Oh, BIOS, it will send a return message. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. So this part is called what? This is our POST. What is POST? What is POST? Yes, what is POST? Power on self test. 
Very good. Power on self test, right? Power on self test. Right. So this is what you call power on self test. Post. P O S T. That means sending the messages, the BIOS, right? The BIOS, right? BIOS sends the messages to all the hardware connected to the computer, like keyboard, mouse, monitor, hard disk, RAM, VGA. So it checks, right? Okay, these people are ready. These people are ready. So we can proceed. So this is the second step. Post is the second step. Okay. Now, I hope this is clear. Maybe the board is, you know, it has everything. But can you all understand now? Yes, so far, whoever understood, can you raise the hands? Puzzle Ahmad, okay. So, Alhamdulillah. So, the traditional method works, right? Right. So, first step done. By, so, it's like, you know, it's like uh, us, right? When you work up in the morning, normally what you do in the morning, early morning, so you check your hand, right? You check your mouth. You, you just check your, your uh, uh, parts, right? Whether it's working properly. We don't know that, but automatically we are checking, right? In case, if we can't raise the hand, or if we can't talk, that means there's a problem. Like that, the post is power on self test, power on self test, right? It's check all the hardware is connected to this computer. Okay. Now, third step. Now, buyers will know, they, okay, come to this one, the bottom one. This is your hard drive, right? Your hard drive. You have, you have C partition or C drive here, or D, even EF. So, this is all, all, whole hard drive. In the hard drive, the initial part that is we call zero the sector that don't worry about that word the initial part the manufacturers they have stored when they install the windows right normally when you buy the computer right you find the windows already installed they install the program or a code called mbr what is mbr stand for what is MBR stand for? Master, master, boot, record. Master, boot, record. So, in the hard drive, to the initial part, this because to easy to identify, because if you store in the permanent place, so they have selected the initial part, initial initial part of the hard drive. So this is your whole hard drive. This is all hard drive. So in the initial part, we, we call that a sector. There's a software, there's a code, there's a program called MBR, master boot record. So next step, buyers will load this program. This is the third step, right? Now this program already there, so it will run and it will load the operating system into your memory. So into your memory. So this is the fourth step. So by MBR will execute the code. So this is uh, the place, right? So this MBR code knows where the operating system is installed. So that's how they have designed it. So they have designed the location and everything in a small program called MBR. So after post check, BIOS will, you know, BIOS will, you know, uh, ask the, actually it, it, it invoke this program, MBR, and this runs, then load the operating system into the RAM. That is the fourth part. Okay. So now BIOS completed all the four work, the allocated things. So these are the four things, right? So things are now, who is taking the control now? OS. Very good. It's operating system. Maybe it's Windows or any other operating system. Now, control is over to the operating system. So you can now see the blue screen. You can enter the password and log into the 
Windows or Linux or whatever. Now, is that clear? So these steps are called, right? Booting. So booting is a long process. So it's starting from here, CPU tells the BIOS to do the post check. So BIOS uh, invoke this post check program. So it will check the attached hardware. Then BIOS will this read the MBR or it, it invoke the MBR. So MBR program will run master boot record. So this program knows where the my operation system resides. So this is kind of a secret key. So this runs and load the windows or whatever the operating system into the RAM. Right now the operating system has the control. So it loads the interface, whatever the login interface. So you can log in and you can work on. 